hello hello guys welcome back to academic coordinates in this video we are doing an example it's actually a follow-up video from the previous video we did when we are actually defining linear functions in this video we're going to do an example where we're going to sketch a graph and sort of determine some of its significant characteristics you know that being the domain the range um where the function is increasing or decreasing um yeah you know what i'm saying okay let's just dive right into it first of all looking at this equation does it look like y is equal to mx plus c no it doesn't you know what i'm saying um so the first thing we're gonna do here we're actually gonna take this equation into the standard form right so it's gonna be 4y um equals to minus x plus 12 you know it's almost there it's almost there guys um so we're gonna divide by four everywhere or multiply by um we're gonna divide by four or we're gonna multiply by one over four everywhere why are we doing that because if we wanna uh have a coefficient of y that that equals to one so that is gonna give us uh y is equals to um minus one over four x plus 12 divided by four it's three okay that is our equation right and from this equation we can we can identify two things the slope or the gradient equals to minus one over four right and the c equals to three that's our y-intercept you know what i'm saying okay um, I chose this example, you know, um, intentionally because I thought, I mean, why is cos mx plus c? Some people might be like, okay, I mean, it's like I'm repeating the same thing I was doing, you know, on the previous video, but I chose this specific example so that we can appreciate um, a graph even when the slope is um, negative, right? Um, okay, and also we're able to identify the gradient and the y-intercept okay the first thing we do when we are plotting graphs we find the intercept okay not the first thing we do but you know we have to find the intercept okay firstly the y-intercept the y-intercept okay the y-intercept guys is where the graph will cut the y-axis x okay this is zero is where the graph will actually cut the y-axis it can cut it like this you know if the slope is positive or it can cut it like this or like this if the slope is negative so looking at our case our slope is negative so our graph will be like something like this you know what i'm saying okay the y-intercept will let x equals to zero you know why are we doing that because uh okay there's one two three negative one negative two negative three you know what i'm saying okay so this is this can be equation of x is equals to three x is equals to two x is equals to one this is x is equals to zero the y axis is the equation x is equals to zero so basically that's why we let x equals to zero here even though we know what the y intercept is i mean c is equals to three but um we it's i think it's 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 important that we show it right you know in terms of um exam purposes or test um conditions you know so it's gonna be y equals to minus one over four multiplied by zero plus three okay so minus one over four minus a quarter multiplied by zero it's zero right so y equals to three right so the graph or the function will cut the y-axis at y is equals to 3. So the point of that is 0 and 3. All right. Secondly, we're going to find the x-intercept. X-intercept. For this, we're going to let y equals to 0. We're going to let y equals to 0. This line, the x-axis, right, is the has got an equation which is y equals to zero so that's why we let y equals to zero here so it's going to be zero equals to minus one over four multiplied by x plus three 
All right, so now we're going to solve this linear equation and find the value of x. That will be where the function will cut the... Um, that will be where the function will cut the um, x-axis. You know what I'm saying? Negative 3. So here I can multiply by 4. Actually, I'm going to multiply by a negative 4 so that the coefficient of x is positive. You know what I'm saying? So it's um, x is equal to minus 3 multiplied by a negative 4. So x is what? Negative multiplied by a negative is a positive. So 3 times 4 is 12. So the graph will cut the x-axis at 12. Right? So it will cut the, the x-axis at this point. At 12 and 0. Okay. At this point, guys, we have um, written almost everything. We can actually plot our graph. You know what I'm saying? But let's say in instances where maybe in a test they tell you guys to write extra points or give extra points, um, we can find maybe the values of x, um, the values of y, for example, y when when x equals to 2, for example, you know, or when x equals to 3, you know. That is actually um, one of the methods. It's called the table method. Okay, let me just, just squeeze that in here, the table method. But mind you, Having reached this stage, we can plot the graph, right? Uh, let's say, for example, the table method where we put an x here. Mm. Right. And there's going to be a y here. And then we choose specific values of x. You can say minus 3, minus 2, um, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. We can choose specific values of x that will actually assist us to plot this graph. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right. So in as much as the table method might give you the exact values as to such that you can plot, okay, x is this and then y is this, where you can put like a point there, where it's going to give you a set of points that you can just join. You know what I'm saying? But um, you will have to be careful as to the values of x that you choose. You know, but all right. Let's just continue from here. You know, we, we're able to find the y-intercept and we're able to find the x-intercept. And we know that our graph will actually be in this manner, will be like this. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we can plot the graph only from, just from this point, you know. So our graph is going to be something like this. And... Seeing that the slope is negative 1 over 4, so what that tells us that um, our graph, our, our function will be um, a bit gentle. It will, it will not be like maybe a, like a steep, like a very, very, very steep function, right? Okay, so we are the x intercept, I mean the y intercept is 3, then the x intercept is say 12, let's say it's somewhere here. You can actually, you know, put your things like 1, 2, 3, 4 until 12 you know what i'm saying and then plot your graph let us see if we can if we can crack this then you can can join the two points right can join the two points this is y is equals to minus one over four x plus three you know so this is the equation of the line or this or this line can also be written as the as 4y um plus x minus 12 is equals to zero so this is more or less the same thing right okay so yes guys this is how you plot the equation of a straight line or a linear function you know what i'm saying um i would like to bring something to your attention that uh let me just squeeze it right here one they might ask you to find the domain you know what i'm saying um the domain of the function is like how far the function is you know to the left i mean to the right to, to 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 the left and right right or where is the function defined horizontally when, when we speak of domains we speak like 
um, where is the function defined horizontally? Listen, this function is defined everywhere, right? So it's going to be an x is an element of real numbers, you know, or you can write it as x is an element. This um, nice e here is an element. It can only be, it can also be uh, spoken as maybe a member of something. You know what I'm saying? It's a member from negative infinity to positive infinity, right? So x is defined everywhere, right? From left to right. And also you might be asked to find the range to the range. The range speaks of where is the function where is the function defined like um where is the function defined like vertically, right? Um um the 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 I can say the jurisdiction of the function vertically, where is it defined? Vertically. So obviously this function is defined everywhere um vertically. It it con it continues and it also continues. So vertically the function is defined. So y is an element of real numbers, or you can say y is an element of from negative infinity to infinity. Negative infinity, obviously, negative infinity to infinity. You know what I'm saying? Yes, guys. And also one last thing that I, I wanna tell you guys that um they can ask is the function increasing or decreasing so this function is decreasing right it's decreasing it's decreasing it's decreasing right so this is a decreasing function it's decreasing or they can say find the values of x where the function is decreasing this function is decreasing everywhere where x is an element of real numbers it's decreasing everywhere you know what i'm saying so it's decreasing you know like everywhere so all right guys this is um how you plot a straight line graph um um these are the this is the method that you use to plot straight line graph and also you can use like um the table method you would also note that um in the table method here is the y intercept you know and for you to get the the i mean the x intercept you'll have you'll obviously have to continue until you maybe you get to 12 where you'll find i mean i mean until you will have actually to get a point where you've um where you have actually enough points to to plot your graph such that the both axes the y axis and the x axis are actually included you know what i'm saying all right guys this is how this is how you plot a straight line graph or this is how you sketch you know a straight line graph so i trust you understand if you've got any questions like literally any questions guys just comment below or if you're shy just email me you know if you're shy that your name is gonna appear there just email and then after i will get back to you do stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your day